Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. It's Conversations with Just Angie. And I'm really hoping you're having a great time. I've been really enjoying the conversations that we have been having. Absolutely amazing. And um, I just love the way that God works and the things that he asks us to speak about, the guests he brings us, and I hope you're enjoying them too. But I know that you are because I love meeting Just Angie family uh, viewers. I love it. They tell me so many stories. I'm always in awe of how they share, how they express, and how they encourage me to keep doing what I'm doing. So I'm really grateful. Today I have a very special guest. So I'm going to ask her to look into that camera, introduce herself, and then we're going to have a conversation. Hey, just Angie family. Uh, my name is Joy Lois Njoki Gadogo. I am a child of the Most High God, and I really, really love this space, just Angie. Mm. It's um, an amazing, amazing space. Mm. I'm currently completing my college prep at school. I'm excited for that. Um, I also serve within the ministry, um, the Mavuno Marketplace uh, movement, as well as KBSU. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So I'm really excited for even the conversation that you're about to have. Mm -hmm. um, and um, even opening up this space for me, I think this is the first ever interview. <laughs> you have time. Yes, wow. so I'm really happy for this. And um, it's important who's announcing you to the oh, world, you know? So, sweet, so um, yes. yeah, so I, I don't take this lightly. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the conversation that we have today is mm -hmm. also um, part a part of my call and my purpose, mm -hmm. uh, restoration in family. Um, yeah, yeah, basically that that so area mm. yeah because i really felt it. i can't remember when, when we had a conversation but it was a while ago mm. and i kept telling you i think joy i want you to come and share your story <laughs> yeah. um and today we're going to have a conversation on healing daddy wounds yes and i feel that that conversation mm. one i was feeling it would be for the the parents as well mm -hmm. just so that we as parents we understand what it is or the damage that we're doing to our children because mm. many times we don't even understand what we're doing so mm. i want us that conversation to come through yeah uh, but also how it made you feel you know yeah. and, and what happens and how do we move on and speak to somebody else who mm. i think you you have you have us you have a lot of people around you can talk to yeah but sometimes i feel why we need to do a video like this is because people don't have people to talk to. to talk to they don't true. have anybody to That's reach true. out to they are making decisions which are not the right decisions because they don't even know what the right decisions are yeah so this is why i said i really wanted us to mm. have this conversation very respectful of your dad mm -hmm. we, we love your dad and mm. you say met him at a glorious wedding yeah and so we're not gonna we're not trashing dads no, no, we're no. not doing that we love yeah. your dad mm. uh, but uh, a series of events and circumstances have happened yeah that have wounded you yeah and um we need to heal yeah, and we need, we need to, to help heal. other people heal as well yeah because that's what we do we share mm. you know so that also other people can receive their healing yeah so i'll just allow you to start wherever you that's want to start to join. yeah and thank you for coming thank you so much i mm. thank you as well mm. um i think um even before i dive into like my share mm. <laughs> of uh father wounds if i may say um I think even having these conversations, number one is we have to be bold about it and like we have to say what is happening on ground, not just saying other things and you know escaping it. But when we want to talk about this thing, we have to go right into it and it's not easy. It's not easy to talk about it. Even the journey is not easy, but at least out of this, there's, there's going to be a lot of restoration, a mm. lot of... Um, the direction, mm. a lot of uh, just people seeing um, why God created family. Yeah. Family has its role when we have uh, the yeah. fathers, the mothers, the children, everyone playing their role. It's easier mm. to build a better society. Mm. I mean, in the church, in the government, all that what we are talking everyone. about. Yeah. So it all starts at home and we, yeah, it all starts at it home. Does. Yeah. So basically, Born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya, um, in, um, when I was around two, my parents separated. Um, so basically, I don't remember a lot mm. of my childhood, but that's what I was told. Yeah. You were told they separated, so you yes. don't remember, you don't I don't recall. remember, I don't, ha yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And there were, there were many challenges, but you know when you're there, it's not really a challenge. Mm. My life, everything, <laughs> it's just life. That's mm. how life is. Let's keep on going. We can't give up. Let's mm. keep on going. So basically, um, 
when I was young, I, I, you know, there, there are things people can do and then you start picking. Eh, the, no one and one is not good. Like, not things mafia. are not aligning. Mm. Yeah, so we used to go a lot to my uh, dad's office and mostly was because my mom was supporting the house, the bills and everything. And then there are two kids who need to be paid for fees. So sometimes we'd go to his office and um, ask for, like, you know, uh, help a bit. And most times it felt like we are chasing him, really, because we'd go and... Um, he'll come like after work after his meeting so we'll have a little time he'd help us i mean he'd he'd feed us <laughs> uh, he'd talk to us and also drop us home so the time we used to have with him was so short um yeah and i remember there was a time there was a there was a saturday I think it was a Saturday we were with him and he said, I'll come next Saturday. And deep within I knew my father is going to come. No one will tell me anything. So that Saturday, uh, now the next Saturday, I remember I got ready and I went, I sat at the gate the whole oh, day. <laughs> and I was waiting. I was like, um, sweetie, just come. please come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, you know. And that's Trying when you to start. Manage your expectations. Yeah, really. yeah. So that's when you start to realize, wait a second. Math is not math, mm. but after that, um, my mom has also played a big role in this area oh, because she, she, not a second my mom has ever spoken bad about yeah. him yeah. or She's dragged so his name around yeah. or saying this, that and the other. Yeah. All that <laughs> she didn't do that, but she was only saying he's such an amazing guy. Amazing. He's a good person. He's your father, and we always used to pray for him. Always praying for him from when I was a kid. Lord, I pray for my sister, my mom, my dad. May his business prosper. May he like that's that was what I was hearing. That's what was being fed so good. in my mind and that in is my so good. yeah. And even I'll just talk about like the atmosphere. Now that I look back, I understand um, that my mom used to every Saturday morning. There's this program on a family TV now for kids. So um, she used to, as she's going for like set up on, and all on Saturdays, she'd leave it playing. So that when I wake up, I'm waking up hearing um, the kids talking and also I'm hearing Jesus everywhere. And every time my aunt sent, uh, she used to send us DVDs at that time. And it was children's choir, Sissy uh, Winans, uh, Donnie <laughs> McClucky, all of them. So I've grown up Interfaith. with that around me you know yes, yes. so see at here it was but mm. thank god thank god yeah thank god i grew up in that space mm. so um yeah so it, it it also helped um maneuvering through that and also now there was a time i gave my life to christ when i was a kid but that was a lot of fear <laughs> thought of fear but i mean i was honest about it to god um so uh, I believe the Holy Spirit used to speak to me a lot. I used to have so many dreams. Mm. I still pray for that, for that again, because at some point it went bad. I used to get dreams. I go tell my mom. My mom looks at me like, what? It's Now let's tell her this. Let's tell her this about life, about the family, about that side of the family. So there was a lot that mm. was I got. And there was a time, <laughs> it was a Saturday. Now this one. I, I don't know if I can call it like an encounter. Mm. Um, I don't know the eyes my mom gave me that Saturday. It was a Saturday or a holiday <laughs> or from school. And my mom, she always used to buy storybooks, um, also other books just for reading. And she'd say, make sure you sit down and you read them. And Mimi and reading were like this, but give me <laughs> art. <laughs> oh, <laughs> give me the art. Creative. Yeah, give me art. Things give to me. Draw. Yes. Mm. Cause I, I used to, <laughs> I used to do so many. Yeah, many people just used to question, what are you doing? But it, for me, it was a way of expression, you know. Um, yeah, so this day, I don't know the eyes my mom gave me, but I was like, you know what, you have to read. And there's this storybook, volume 1 to 10. And she said, read one of the books, I'm coming back and you explain to me the story. So I take one of the books and I'm looking, I love fo photos, so I, See, I'm passing time looking at the photos, mm. photos. Then something caught my attention. I said, ah, let me just read this story. And it was the um, story of how, po how 
Saul became Paul. Paul. Yeah, the journey on the way to Damascus. Wait, so I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading. And obviously, as you're reading, the Holy Spirit is ministering. And I'm so young. I'm getting revelation. I'm just there crying. I'm not understanding what's going on. And then it just clicked. You know, Saul, Saul was a bad guy. He used to kill people. And he had an encounter with God. And it's like he's God's favorite suddenly. And he's so close to God's heart despite whatever he did. Then it clicked and I said, wait a second, even though my dad is not here, God can change his heart. Yeah, yeah. And from that day, my perspective to my da- towards my dad changed. Change. The love grew, everything grew. Even though anything happens, I may love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. So, um, yeah, that's how it was growing up. And then there was a time when the, it was the silent tears, <laughs> I'd call it. We were not really communicating and all. Then now, um, but how do those silent uh-huh. tears make you feel? Now, when I, 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 I do you think about mm-hmm. them now? Do I, no, I don't think about them now. They were just silent tears, yeah, just passed. We were were just you wondering we were, where your dad was? I knew he was safe. I knew, I mean, I knew he's, he's, he's able to be him wherever he is. As long as it's safe, as long as there's no breaking news, mm. I think it's okay. And I've grown up like this. this actually, this is my normal, not having a dad yeah, at this all. This is not. This it's is your normal. No, yeah, it's my normal. Not having a, 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 dad. a dad around. Mm, around, he's present, but not really present. Mm. So, um, yeah, it, yeah. And then now I'm growing up, and now. Yeah, in school you learn about a uh, complete family and all. So you learn, oh, single parent family, oh, cool. But then it hit me when I was like 18, 19, that wait a second, this is what's going on at home. I, I, I was like, wow, I didn't really identify with that. Even today, I really don't. They just it doesn't rub off well on me when we say that. It, it, makes, it makes one feel like, oh, you guys are like, it, it just didn't rub well with me, you know. I'm like, we are fine the way we are. God has been with us. When we didn't have, he was there. When we had, he was there. When it was tough, he was there. He's always been there consistently. Mm. So, um, yeah. But what would you share with somebody mm. like you? Okay, because it's healing daddy wounds. So yeah. how have you been able to heal? Mm-hmm. Or how would you advise somebody to heal who's going through that? Mm-hmm. Yours looked like it was a bit better because your mom was praying, your mom was a yeah. Christian, you've yeah. been brought up in Christian ways, mm. and maybe there was not that realization that we're alone, mm. but somebody who's going through that right now, or how have you been able to heal yeah. your daddy wounds? Um, those, those midnight cries, prayers, when you just want to cry in the evening, if you're in bed, you just want to cry, those are one of the things that helped me a lot. That's how I release when I feel, yeah, those moments, just cry it all out. And even be, um, what's the word, be sincere or acknowledge the feelings that you're feeling. Uh, Don't just shove them at the back. And also, um, I'd I'd, I'd tell someone, find a space Mm -hmm. where you hear the word of God and even just a space an atmosphere um, that is right because I think some sometimes when you're in those spaces some things heal when you, do, you don't even know you don't even have That's to so address it, it yeah. they'll be healing they will be when you healing. find your places of worship places yes. of prayer where, where places of you just find healing yeah. that is so true uh, actually I think one of the places for me was also PLF mm-hmm. it did ah uh, consider that father father, father class. class how actually, was that class for you because you're know, not you expecting have, it. I yeah. don't know. You just said there's a fatherhood class. Yes. Well, when you heard that, did you wonder, eh, what's a fatherhood it class? And great. me, I don't what? have one yet. I was eh? like, let's go cry it all out. <laughs> let's go deal with these things, you yeah. know. <laughs> but that day, my dad called me three times. What do you mean? Missed you know, On the class. day of the fatherhood yes. class? Yes. Okay. He called That's me. That's spooky. <laughs> he called me three times and I'm like, okay, okay, what's going on? Okay. After they say, Okay, you want your daughter? Come pick me. We go where we are going. And he came, we were and okay. He came. he came. After how long had you not seen him? 
Oh, now this one. So spooky. Mm. This one, I think we were meeting, but once, once, mm. once, once. So he once, called once, you once. on the fatherhood he class. He called me three times. Three. I think it, I think it was even more than three. But I remember seeing three amazing. missed calls from daddy. So he picked you up. Yes, he picked me up even before he came. The amount of intercession I had to tell someone because even me, I was like, why is he calling today? This is so strange. Mm. Um, then I mean, we just prayed. Then he came. He picked, it was so nice, he went and that was... That's so amazing. <laughs> what did you learn yeah. in the fatherhood class or what can you remember um, from that class that that helped you? I think you? that's what I remember. That's that what he I called remember. you yes. at the end of the day. So sort yes. of God came through. He came through. God came through he and came your dad through. called you. Yeah, I, I did PLF in 2018. So yeah, I need to take a refresher. <laughs> but <laughs> but that's what, it was, that's what stood out for me that day. Um, yeah that he called that he called okay. yeah. so healing is coming through crying mm -hmm. being in spaces like this yeah so maybe talking about it yes. um anything else um even finding people just to talk to just to release it and even the other end to the person who's receiving this information there are times you don't need to advise the person they just want to share share yeah, they, they don't, don't want to yes. hear, oh, this is how you can fix it. Like, nah. Just want to listen. Yeah, just listen, give them hugs, and just tell them you're there for them. That's, that's, yeah, that's how I think I have healed. I'm still healing. I'm still healing. Mm -hmm. So now, after COVID, now he starts calling and saying, now I want to see my girls. <laughs> and we were like, wait a second, okay. And then he's like, yeah, I want us to be coming. I I want to pick you guys, we go take dinner. I'm like, wait, we don't even have content to talk about. <laughs> How are we going to? I, I just said, you know what, God, let's just go. Let's go and have fun. You know what, let's go and have fun, despite whatever. And I've learned in, in life, I don't know how, but don't carry. I don't carry things. It just goes. I say, uh-uh. I'm not gonna stress myself with these things. So I let it. So I say I'm not overthinking, let's go. And we start slowly, slowly. And there was a lot to share. He's such a wise man. And I'm oh, like, man. what? All these years? At least I'm getting something. <laughs> <laughs> at yeah, least I'm because getting some people don't get anything <laughs> yeah. at all. So at least you're getting something. <laughs> yeah. And you know, sometimes you just, you know, you never know what happened. And I think also a lot of prayer, probably mm -hmm. all the prayers that you guys have prayed because mm -hmm. you're very prayerful, your mom, mm -hmm. yourself, your sister. Mm -hmm. Very prayerful. So maybe those prayers mm -hmm. just began to turn yes, things around. Actually, it's after 11 years of praying, we are seeing the fruits. Yeah. After you are 11 praying, years. Praying. Praying, 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 praying without giving up and without ceasing. Yeah, it just comes out naturally because you can't say anything but just You can't pray. say anything bad about You that. just pray. Mm. So after like 11 years now, he starts calling, we start having our uh, lunch. Then there was this um, memory box I had. Mm. I used to just keep a mem memory box of like experiences I had. I just write oh, it down joy. and put it in, in the, the memory box. Yeah, then oh. I take it. So my mom always, she's always taught us when you're praying also have like a list of things you're praying for write it down mm. and then come back and tick it and out tick, yeah and she had hers i had mine my sister had hers and then we had one for the family <laughs> you know but this one i didn't do it in that book i just got a piece of paper and i did it and i put it in the box so now this time i'm opening the box and i'm looking at it it's written there 2017 and there are two prayer points and one of them was for me and my sister to have dinner with my dad oh my goodness i was like Kumbeni, oh, what? <laughs> wow that's yeah. why it's important to write down yes, prayers because yes. you forget you, you know forget. or when god comes to you just the, you know that's the thing we just continue mm. going with life yeah without understanding yeah uh, yeah Something yeah. happened. If you yeah. wrote it in 2017 yeah. and it happened, it it, hap that is crazy. That's <laughs> answered prayer. <laughs> That's answered prayer. And I'm still at the back of my head. I still know that encounter I have. I know. In the, it's, it's in the way. It must come. It has to come. Yeah, it's so, on the way and it yeah, has to come. Just being hopeful. Being hopeful. Um, yes, the enemy comes. And um, actually, uh, let me share now another side to it shared their prayerful side and the miracles but another side to it is growing up i haven't had this thing of this level of comparison where it's oh this one has a 
better shoes than me or a better bag or better this it it's been like your dad has been there for you so that thing for kids saying you know my dad you know and mm. hey it is to hit deep oh when people deeper. say you know my dad did my oh, dad did my, this no like no I'm not I'm not at least as, as we went we went to my dad and we ate chips yeah and you move on like you don't even know what to and you'll see them coming to school picking them yeah. giving them hug hey, you are like wa okay it's okay to kazane tende to it's okay but all this it's not that I, now later on is when i understood all oh, this is what i was feeling this is how i was feeling when i was seeing that cuz it lucky i used to feel bad and also some so another time now transition from young uh, from teenage to young adulthood um this a time when i used to crave hugs oh my child yeah and it wasn't hugs from like your, your mom, mom. Or your, or your sister. sister but it mostly it's, it's a father too. hug yeah so and uh, thank god i realized that cuz cuz i think when you look at that age and you look at our generation that is when mm. um that's when the crazy things are happening, happening. that's when they're getting sponsors yeah. that's when they're getting yeah. into toxic relationships mm. because they need the, i i understand you understand the feeling i think how how it kind of like how i felt um just bring it don't worry <laughs> mm. yeah so um yeah thank mm-hmm. you how are you so i think how it what kind of helped you was at least I'd see my uncle and be like hi uncle and I'll feel wow mm. okay so it's a hug too. from a man For real. but it's actually a father you yeah, just want that hug it's a father it's hug it's so true uh, you are searching hey are you fiki your is a hug you are hugging people, but are you fiki but it is just that what I want so I realized that I said now joy you need to be careful so I said mm. if i'm saying it to people ntakusalimi mm, i don't yeah. because it will lead you to the wrong yeah. the wrong kind of men the wrong yes. kind of relationship those sponsor yes, relationships exactly. because you're looking for comfort you're looking for exactly. something you're looking for your father yeah so if he's not here then i'm going to find him i'm going yeah and most likely you find him in other men who are not so who are true. brutal and that's not the way it's supposed to that, be yeah that's how that's how it is and then that time now i'm just remembering unaja we are sent to the shop we are sent to You know there are guys who just come hi yeah. how are yeah. you? Yeah, hey, the enemy has to bring people out of the woodwork. <laughs> I mean, I'd It's look true. at you, I'd look at you and just keep walking. I don't know if you're going to look at me with a, like a super my crazy girl and me kind of attitude but, but no, God. I know exactly how I'm feeling yeah. and now it's the holy spirit who revealed it to me. So I know I need to start having boundaries, boundaries. around me. And now now check in to your at night prayers wake up the <laughs> the worship songs and just Enjoy. cry and release because that's that's what that's what i i i, I mm. have done and that's how it has helped me so i was able to control that even having conversations okay there are friends of mine who are like joy you know you don't answer text but i don't answer text after some time honestly unless you are working to get on something i won't answer a phone calls past that time you protected time. yourself yes. yeah and i said because ah, they can go really into anything you see anything even they can, they can it can just be another rabbit hole yeah. that leads to so much drama so you wonder things. how did i get here <laughs> yeah exactly so that was one of the things have i fully i don't know i i think right now now that we meet more i think it's kind of it's gone gone And let me ask you a hard question you can answer it and you don't have to. Yeah. But have you ever had a conversation with him because I was thinking of this another guy I was watching I think it's Kion. Mm. And when he said that um when he asked he tried to ask his dad his dad stop the car and and the way, first of all he was you watched it yeah. me let me first of all that it was he was having an interview yeah. with bishop yeah. kion henderson me if kion henderson's father's story it hurts me like it wow. was me yeah. it hurts me till i want to collapse in a heap anyway yeah. he said that so he'd been what is that to pick him up yeah. so his dad picked him up mm. when they drove <laughs> He asked the question he was told a light now yeah. and he never picked him up again and I just yeah. think some fathers it's very harsh but mm-hmm. uh what were we talking about so mm-hmm. have you ever been able to have a conversation with him 
and the conversation is coming. It's coming. We have I to. feel like yeah, it has to. It's but it's maybe coming. timing. Yeah, timing is timing. the thing. Yeah, timing. You'll have to have it's the conversation. Coming. And um am I ready? <laughs> no, it's coming. Yeah, <laughs> I'm know. ready. I think I'm ready for it because I understand that he's he's a human he's being. A human being. And we all are. understanding that in this foundation of for the society to be good mm -hmm. and and right and everything to be like remove corruption and all these things there are levels to it there is the family there is the church and then there is the government and everyone has to play their I role know. and the enemy knows yeah he knows he knows and goes to the most basic the we most don't even look at it family family yeah so i'm like hey no, you know, he's also a human being. And that's what the enemy is. Uh, he's like, he's like, I'd say he's very strategic with that. Mm. He's very strategic with that. Because what happens now in that time when I was feeling like that, um, people would enter, I mean, just think of like my generation, people have entered into so many things. So many things have happened. And when you look back into... Just look at the foundation of the family. They are always traveling. Mm. Parents are always traveling. Those or they are not there. Yeah, they are not or they there. don't have attention to what... Um, there's they no attention watching. to what the children are doing. Yeah, what they are doing, what they are listening to. Guidance. It's only just money and taking them out. And it's another not. one I must say, because we talk mm. about healing daddy yeah. wounds. Mm -hmm. It's also uh, mothers, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, like painting these men oh, yeah. really badly. Yeah. Um, we're not saying what they did is excellent, mm. but me, we're not going to bad mouth them. Yeah. Even me, I chose that. Mm. I was like, no, yeah. we're not going to talk badly about them. Yeah. We are going to say, this is your father. You must respect him. Mm. We're going to pray. We have prayed for that man mm. for many years. <laughs> And we even we pray for his life to, to yeah. be successful. You know, we're mm. not praying for him to... We're saying, let him succeed wherever he's yeah. Protect him, cover him, bless him. Mm. Yeah, because that's what... And I guess Christianity is about love. Yeah, it's about It's about love. God's love. And mm. people make mistakes. Life mm. happens. Yeah. And now we can't make a whole dramaful thing and hateful. Mm. A whole hateful, hateful thing. Yeah around a mistake that was made yeah. by two people. Mm. So two people made the mistake. Mm. So now mm. what are we going to do? Mm. We're going to have to live with this mm. and figure how to live it. But what I like, I think that's the word. It's not a toxic atmosphere. Mm. It's mm. an atmosphere full of love. And for yeah. me, although this is your interview, like for mm -hmm. me now, mm -hmm. when, because when now Althea was getting married is mm. when I was so grateful also yeah. that we haven't done that drama. Yeah. Because here we are now. We yeah. are here now. We are the two family. We are here. Mm. It's true. Mother, father of child. Uh -huh. yeah. Child stand here. Yeah. It is us. We have to behave ourselves. We walked out down the aisle together. Mm -hmm. We did events together. We'd also done like her graduations. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes in their separate place. But we have to meet at the graduation mm -hmm. and behave like civilized human beings. Yeah. If I have been spewing hate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how far are we going to take actually, the hate? Actually, Do you know I found true. one person only? I'm going to say, well, at, mm -hmm. they had two weddings. Mm -hmm. Oh. Or I don't know. One, the mother attended the morning, the father, Yanni, hey, hey, no hey, hey. I was like, that. my God, no need for all there's that. no need for all that. Yeah. Life happens to everyone. Yeah. We're not, I don't think, we're, I, I, I'm not disregarding or belittling what happened, yeah. but we don't have to make it hateful. Yeah. We must forgive. Mm -hmm. We must learn to love. Mm. We must learn to heal. We must learn to respect and honor people. Yes. You know, we make mistakes mm. every day and God That's respects true. and honors <laughs> us and also people around us. So even you, you have to cut people it's their true. slack. It's okay. Accu. Yeah, just cut them their slack. Yeah. We made a mistake. But mm. I, what I hate is all the hate that comes out of it. True. You know, I don't like the hate. I don't like we can't talk. We can't be in one room. Why can't you be in one room? What, what happened? Come mm. on. And then years have gone by. You have not healed. You have not. Oh, my Jesus. Yeah. You've poisoned the children. Next generation. You've messed oh, up the next God. generation. That is so true. Actually, one of the, actually, an interview that was here. <laughs> one of the, I think you, did, you had done it with Althea or you alone. And you are saying how um, you would advise Althea to talk to the other mm. family respectfully. Very. That changed my mind. I hey. said, Wait. How will yeah. you be respectful? I thought, like, yeah, yeah, there's no need. No need. I even told her, I will handle you myself. <laughs> you haven't been handled. I'll yes. handle you. Why? Yeah. And why is that? Because that's another adult. Mm. First of all, that's another not your story. Person. Yeah. 
your story, you, you, are, <laughs> you are not in that story. Yeah. Then that's an adult. So yeah. the way you treat them to treat any adult, mm. then you'll be a disrespecter of people mm -mm. walking around insulting people, yeah. God's people. They, no, mm. you don't behave like that. It's not mm. your business. I'm sorry, it hurt you, whatever. Yeah. Now, um, this is reality. This is the Let's reality. Work from here. And the one thing we do is respect everyone. Mm. And we talk to them respectfully. Mm. That's what we do. Yeah. We do not engage in, in, <laughs> in crazy, you know, just, I, I find it almost useless. Yeah, it's it very is. useless it um, conversations and, mm. and being abusive. Why? Mm. Yeah, you must greet them. You must say hello to them. Mm. You must behave. You must say yes and yeah. please. Yes. You must say thank you. You must do everything that you do in this home. <laughs> yes, even Transfer Uko. True. Make sure That's you do so that. Correct. Yeah, that. That is, is correct. the correct way. Then you, yeah. then you create correct people yes. and correct situations. Even people are wondering when they <laughs> see you guys. I I know oh. they wonder, but why? Well, <laughs> let us just learn to be disrespectful. Yes. Because yeah. we made a mistake. Mm. And we. I think now the other thing I'm feeling in my spirit mm. is we perpetuate now that mistake. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. no. The mistake happened. What is the best that we can do yeah. in this situation? Mm. How do we rectify it? How do we raise the child? Yeah. Well, that's all we need yeah. to do. That's what we need to do. Mm. Yeah. And even. Um, even by us also going to him or even honoring the invite. Mm. For the dinner. For the it dinner. made it so easy when he came came to my sister's wedding. Also. Very. And she said, um, uh, we have to honor him. Good. We have, he will loved it. walk me down the, the aisle. aisle. Imagine. Hey, I was like, let's see how this will go. It went very well. <laughs> but it went so well. Yeah. We you, see, you see, that's another these, thing. You yeah. know, oh God, you don't get me started. But yeah. if people understood the place of honor exactly. in anything. Yeah. If we understood <laughs> the place of honor, yeah. ah, mm. you'd be miles ahead okay, that's in life. True. That is true. Why are you not honoring him? Mm. Isn't he your father? Mm. Even if he disappeared? Mm. So now, mm. we have to. Just yeah. give him honor mm. and let's see what happens. See what and happens. the blessing will actually come to you. Mm. Who is that giving is so that true. honor? I'm sure he was very happy. That is so true. Very yeah. happy, maybe mm. surprised. Mm. Eh, yeah, but it's also, it's a, it's, it's a journey. In everything, even when we started having those uh, di um, Dinners. dinner um, dates together, now with my sister and him, Apo Bado could pray a point. Because Tunaka Chini, conversation, Kidogo, because they are mm. two different mindsets. But still, God is and also working because something. So, something there. Yeah. And I think it's because you haven't grown up with them as yes. well, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we with your mom, own. yeah, you have your own things that yeah. maybe he doesn't know. Yeah. But you just, you make, you make it work. Because yeah. yeah, I was very grateful for the dinners. You make it work for whatever, mm. whatever it is that needs to, to work. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really grateful, Joy. Mm. And I know we're still going to have you back again. Because I still mm. feel like, I feel like this is something you're going to be sharing with more people. Mm -hmm. um, I just really feel that you're yeah. there to, to help you. I, which gen are you? Gen Z. You're the Gen Z <laughs> people. Wait, wait. We're uh -huh. the ones who bring the house down. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> for bringing the house yes. down. Hey, Gen Z. <laughs> Najipenda, <laughs> sana. Eh, you know how to hype yourself, I mean. Sana. Eh? <laughs> so you're the one who bring the house down. Yeah. So I feel like there's gen there's a lot of people in your generation yes. who need healing. Mm. Um, this is just the first part. I think yeah. we'll keep coming back with more revelation, more stories, mm. because also. And then I don't know who's after Gen Z. Who's? Gen Alpha. Now oh. the, those ones, they don't even have breaks. <laughs> you see, now. they don't have breaks. <laughs> <laughs> we have to teach the breaks and honor. Yes. Eh? We have to have honor, breaks respect. and honor yes, and thank respect. You, yes. May I? Yes. May I? The, yes. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> We're going to start here with them, but that's a good yeah. thing. So you see, you'll be able to handle that because I mm. feel like you're. I really feel the reason I was even calling you is I, I think I've told you before mm -hmm. that I feel like you'll be really speaking to. To, to that to your generation mm. and yeah. to the one after That's and they true. need somebody to talk to and the mm. thing is mm -hmm. I don't I don't believe God made the experience happen mm. but God makes good things come out of negative experiences yes. Yes. so out of a negative experience which somebody <laughs> feels I can't heal from this I can't even share I'm hiding this I yeah. can't say this my life has to end <laughs> too many stories mm. comes you yeah. giving hope and saying I've lived through it so yeah. some things happen God put some bring something good out of a bad situation because mm. we've got to show other people yeah. that yes this happened to me but this is how I'm choosing to live my life mm. 
this is how I, I, I'm going to move forward with my purpose. This yeah. is how I'm healing. Mm. This is how I'm handling it. Mm. I didn't refuse to go. Because you see, like now, can you imagine refusing to go for the dinner? I'm not going uh, to the dinner. Uh, because it, we no, would have lost something. Thank you for saying that. We you would have, have lost, lost something. And I'm, I'm, ah, yeah, I'm, yeah, these yeah, days yeah. I'm always saying, there's a time to make, you can make wrong choices, mm. but there's always a time when you can make right choices. Yeah. So right now we can't punish and say, no, you are not here. <laughs> a right choice is being made. Yeah. So we flow mm. with that right flow choice. With that, yeah. Yeah. Actually, in, li in light with that, I know, I, I know that in the mountain of family, there's a lot there's a lot to be done, but I know I also have a part to play now when it comes to father wounds. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing big things. Actually, last year, I just I was writing somewhere and I said, I can't wait for next year. I know we're having a conversation. I don't. I didn't know this was going to happen, but I know I'll start having this conversation about father wounds. And then this happened. So I was mm. like, wait a second, God. <laughs> wait. <laughs> but yeah, they need to happen. They need to happen. Because um, I was scrolling on, I was on IG. There was uh, some reels I was going through. And one of them was written, um, if, if you are to write the title, okay, this is a book. And you're titling it the relationship that you have with your dad. I went through the comments. I was like, Give me a break, guys. Guys are saying the milkman who never came, the one who hurt us. Some of them are saying my hero. Some are saying good things. Others are just like, wah. I'm like, I was like, I was just taken back and I was like, something needs to happen. Because right here, there's a generation that's crying over here. And because it's quote unquote dark humor, they just want to laugh and all. But this is so deep that dark humor that is very that deep. is so deep and i'm like now it's time for now we need to start rising and addressing these things so when i see now in line with like my call i see spaces where we have very many people and there deliverance is happening coming back to the father is happening and there is the conversation with father father okay the conversation yeah with fathers and just addressing it i don't want you to address your father mm -hmm. but i want you to look into that camera mm. and just address somebody who's having difficulty mm. with fathers with their relationship with their father mm. Mm. with their father difficulty with their father mm. what do you want to tell them i would tell them i would tell them Look into that camera and yeah. tell them. Yeah. <laughs> I'd tell them um, it's hard. For real, it's hard. And mm. growing up, I think what even crushes you the most um, understanding because I've been in these shoes is when you're a kid, you look at your father as the hero. But now you grow up and now you start finding out things and you feel broken. I just tell you, this is... Sadly and painfully, this is the reality of things, but one step at a time, begin to release that bitterness. Whatever, whatever happened, very many people have different types of father wounds, if I can put it like that. It's, the stories are different, but what I'd tell you is begin to let it go and let God cry out to God talk to God, God, this is what's happening to the ground. I feel like in this area, nothing is happening. I feel so much anger. I just say, release it all to God. As simple as it may sound, it does wonders. It really does wonders. And journal, if you're able to journal, if you're able to talk to someone, talk to someone. Um, yeah, that's what, and, and we are many of us. And there is a way out. The God is creating something for even us just to heal in this. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much, Joy. <laughs> Thank you for coming and being vulnerable. <laughs> and I know that this is a conversation that um, that we'll have over and over again, not only with you, but with others as well. Yeah. And I think one of the things that ministered to me was the prayer. So just mm. write it down. Even if yeah. you can't pray it. Write it down. You can't even utter it. Yeah. Just, just write, write it down. It down. 
Mm. Write it down and put it somewhere and see. Let's see what God begins to do. Yeah. And I feel also just for saying, let me just pray. Let's mm. pray. It's not a prayer. It's not a Sunday sermon, but let's pray. Mm. Heavenly Father, I just want to encourage somebody on the other side of this camera who has got crazy father wounds mm. or who's just even going through right now the realization of the father wounds that they have or they've been disappointed by a father or the father is absent or even the father passed away. Mm. They don't even know who their father is. Father, in this, I feel divinely orchestrated moment, just bring healing to those hearts and those lives. Begin to order their steps. I feel like it's like a ball unraveling, begin to unravel this whole, how they feel, this whole journey, what they need to feel, what they need to do. And I want to pray especially for anyone else who wants to take their life. Please don't do it. Mm -hmm. There is life. There is life, there is purpose, you are, you are important, you're enough, you're blessed, you're special, you're beautiful. You are not rejected, you're accepted. Just mm. because maybe one person you feel rejected you, you're, you're not rejected, you're accepted and you're loved. And there's a whole life out there for you. So I pray that you encourage them. I pray um, every kind of grief is taken away any kind of oppression is off them in the name of Jesus Christ. And I also pray that they begin to see the light and move towards the light. And that you send people around them. That's another thing I feel. Send people around them to ensure that they make the right choices, they have the right conversations, and they have the right outcomes. Mm. And I also hear in my spirit, just course correct, Father. Course correct whatever can be corrected. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Be encouraged. Yeah. Be encouraged. Encouraged. Yeah. God bless. Thank yeah. you for coming, Joy. Asante sana. Thank you for, Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>